Good afternoon, this is Pat Walker at Mission Winners doing a training coaching video here. A lot of people glance at charts and they say, oh, it's a red bar, it's a bad bar, it's a green bar, it's a good bar. Done. You know, it's that simple. No, it's really not. It's something we teach at Mission Winners is how to read the chart. Really tear it apart. And this isn't fancy, okay? Believe me, this ain't rocket science. It's just taking a look at the open, the high, the low, and the close. That's all. That's all you have to do. I'm going to give you a classic example right here. It gaps up. See the open right there? I'm going to make this bigger for you. See where it gaps up? There's the open. Runs up and reverses down on heavy volume. Heavy volume. That's a red bar. Is that a bad bar? Oh yeah, that's a bad bar. All right, let's take it a step further. Here's another red bar on really heavy volume. Here's where it closes. The next day it gaps down, falls, and closes near the highs on really heavy volume. It's a down bar. It's a red bar. The close here is below the close there, right? Oh, well, must be a bad bar. No, it fell and closed near the highs. They supported it. And you combine it with bouncing off the rising 50 day, it led to this trend. Okay, now let's take it a step further. It, right here, Costco gaps up, runs up, and reverses down on really heavy volume. It's a red bar. Is that a bad bar? Yeah, it is. Now let's look at this bar. Oh, it's a green bar, Pat. Everything's great. Look, heavier volume. Note though, it gaps up, it runs up, and reverses, and it's near its lows for the day with one hour to go on a pickup in volume. It's met with selling. It's met with sellers up there. All right? So just because it's red doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad bar. And just because it's green doesn't necessarily mean it's a good bar. The things you look for. Now, I'll ask you another question. Let's take this a step further. This is what we do in Mission Winners. By the way, this isn't rocket science. We're not doing anything too fancy here. Stock gaps up and backs off. Backed off here. It's near the lows. Sellers came in a little bit. Why do you think that happened? Why? Just kind of ponder it a minute. Could it be that people bought it down here? Had a decent profit and locked in some profits? Yes. But you know what else it could be? Could it be that the people that bought that gap up and watched the thing drop like a darn rock come back and then it comes back up near their price? Isn't that ironic how it came right up back near their prices? See the high on this bar? Right in the thick of the highs of that bar. You think there's some people that said, thank heaven I'm back at my price I'm selling. There you go. Charts are a reflection of human emotion. Fear, greed, panic, complacency. You combine that with volume action and you're light years ahead of most people. That's what we do at Mission Winners. Taking a look. Is this really getting fancy? Not one bit. Do we look at five minute charts? No. Do we look at 10 minute charts? No. Do we scalp? No. Do we day trade? No. We're just looking at the charts. Open high, low, close, and guess what? It will tell us what to do. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you, and I hope it helps you.